Hi everyone, it's Brittany here, and I just wanted to do a quick share with you guys. Um, I had followed Cassie Keith's tutorial on making your own shimmer mist, or shimmer spray, and at first they had made this one, and it's just, um, it's just silver. It kind of looks white there, but it's silver. Um, and I loved it. I had this color, and then I had some other colors, but I didn't really like them, so this was what I had. It's, um, a metallic silver. And, um... So anyways, I went to Walmart to get some other ones. I'm working on a mini album, and I'll show you this page real quick. Um, you guys can kind of see. These are the colors that it is. So it's kind of like a yellow, but it's kind of a mustardy and then red and blue. But anyways, I wanted some sprays so I could dye my seam binding, and I had got a three-pack of Glitter Mist um, a little while ago, but they didn't ha I didn't get my colors. I got gold. Um, this tarnished silver and then stone, but the stone is kind of really light. Um, but I wanted some that I could dye my seam binding with to match my mini album. So I went to Walmart and she said to use like a metallic, the metallic um, folk art or even these in metallic. Um, but they were like $1.97, which was fine, but these were only 57 cents. So um, this one is the, like, the red and then this one is yellow and these both match really great actually and then I just got some other colors to play with I got black white pink and a chocolate brown and then what I did was I just used this with those colors um since I already had it and it worked awesome so I just want to show you guys quick um a little comparison so um let's see I have a little paper towel in my tub here but first I'll do um this is the Glimmer Mist, and this is Tarnished Silver, and so we'll just do that there. So you can kind of see that. Um, I don't know if mine only sprays like that or what, but yeah. And then I'll do the gold. And again, it kind of like, I don't know, it spots, which is cool like for certain projects, but certain things like you just want coverage. Um, so now I'm going to go to mine um, that I made. And, and a good tip that she gave was to shake it side to side because it won't clog it. Um, and I'll link down below after I get this posted um, her tutorial so you guys can go over and check it out. So we'll go up kind of by the gold. I didn't even use this one yet, but you can see, I mean, it gets a lot more coverage there. So that works really good. And um, I won't probably show you guys all of them. Well, maybe I might. <laughs> I'm a little excited. Um, but the black works really good too. I did try this one. So you get a lot more coverage, and it is shimmery. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up or not, but, um, I'll try and move it around. You can see it's just as shimmery. And the silver really didn't dilute the colors at all, so I really like that. Um, and these water bottles were, they're two ounce water bottles, and they were 97 cents at Walmart. So I think each one of these cost me $1.57, and I still have plenty more paint, and I can refill, you know, I could probably make six of these. So that's a pretty good deal, I thought. So there's the pink, and you could, it's so cool because you can make whatever color you want. I'm just really excited about this. Oops. Sorry for all the shaking, I'm holding my camera. So there's the brown, and that one I might make a little darker just because it looks really kind of light for me. Um, we'll go to the red. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying here. Oh, boy. Okay, and then I have white, but I don't think white's going to show up too well on this. But I'll spray on the black. We'll see. I'm trying to hold still. Sorry, guys. So, you can see that one, too. Let's see. We'll stick some paper in there and see if that works. So, I think that looks really cool. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys because, I mean, even the $2 was cheap, but just, like, if you are like me and you have something like this, like, um, let's see if I can focus this. See, this is just silver. And, um, so if you guys happen to have, like, a metallic silver, and then you can find these for cheap. I mean, 57 cents is pretty cheap. So, yeah, each bottle cost me 
a dollar fifty seven. You can still see some of them are mixed up all the way. Um, but yeah, they cost me a dollar fifty seven each, and I mean these bottles are still pretty full. So I'm really excited, and I just want to share that with you guys. And thank you for watching.